family welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be all about how i've used aloe vera and my special blend of oils to grow my daughter's hair from a little bit of hair to a healthy thick beautiful head full of hair so if you want to see how i did this then please continue to watch <laughs> hi say it's wash day for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that this is the only method that I have used for my daughter's hair from the time she was really little. I actually started using aloe vera and my blend of oils on Nadia's hair when she was about six months old. This is her at seven months old. Her afro is cute and healthy. This is her at eight months old. This is also her at nine months old. This is her at 12 months old. This is her at 14 months old, and this is her at 18 months old, current days. This is the only method that I have used successfully to care for my daughter's hair. This is the same exact method that I also use on my own hair to grow thick, long hair. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you Nadia's full wash day routine, how I moisturize, well, and style her hair on a weekly basis to keep her hair thick, healthy, and long. So the first thing I always do is of course make the aloe vera juice. And this process is the same whether it's for a baby or an adult. And you guys have seen me do this a ton of times. So all I do is I grab my aloe vera, cut them into pieces, rinse them off with warm water, split the aloe vera into two pieces and scoop them out. For those of you who sometimes ask why my aloe vera looks pink, that is because sometimes certain leaves of aloe vera have this tint to it and it makes the juice look pink. If you see that in your aloe vera, it doesn't mean that it is bad. That is just how some aloe veras look. So since I'm using this for Nadia's hair, I'm gonna go ahead and use a strainer to get only the juice out so that it's easy to apply to her hair. So this is what our juice looks like. It's nice and pink, as I said. So anyways, I'm gonna be using these clips to clip her hair out of the way. As I always say, please make sure that the kids are distracted. So maybe give them a snack, give them their favorite games, their favorite toys, or their favorite device. That way it keeps them distracted and you're gonna be able to do your job. As you can see, her hair is dry and it's definitely ready for a wash day. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use my hands to scoop the aloe vera, rub it onto her hair to use it as a detangler. This works instantly. It automatically makes the hair soft and because of the slipperiness, it makes the detangling process very, very easy. So after I make sure to rub the aloe vera on her hair, I then take a wide tooth comb or a detangling brush and start to detangle. Again, this is easy, quick, and painless. So I'm just gonna move on to the next section here. I'm gonna use the same exact process to apply the aloe vera to her hair. After that, I'm going to take the rest of the aloe vera and apply it to her hair. And then I'm going to grab my comb and make sure that all her hair is detangled. And then I'm going to take a plastic wrap or a shower cap and cover her hair for about 10 to 20 minutes. That is only if she keeps the shower cap on. Sometimes she takes it off, but the longer the aloe vera stays in her hair, the better. So I just use that process as a pre-poo. Then after that, I'm gonna wash her hair. Nadia likes this tub. She likes to play in it as she gets her bath or as she gets her hair washed. So that is why I'm using it. And I'm sorry about the angle of this clip, but this is the best way I could get the camera to not only focus but to stay still and also protect it from Nadia spilling water on it. Anyways, all I'm using here is her Aveeno Baby Shampoo. 
This is what I use to wash her hair. I'm also going to use the Aveeno Baby Conditioner to condition her hair. And then after that, I'm gonna let her play a little bit and then I'll take her out of the tub and give her her shower. So in order to make the drying process a little easier, I'm just going to braid her hair in three big sections and let it air dry. After that, I'm going to let her play a little bit, give her her shower, get her dressed, and then we'll move on to the final step. So all I'm doing here is taking the braids out. So as you can see, her hair is dried and it's also stretched out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blend of oils and this is aloe vera oil with a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil added to it. So all I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna use my finger to get the oil and apply it to her hair and her scalp, massage it in and twist it back up. Now for this step, you can either twist it, braid it, or do cornrows. It is all up to you. I like to use these little hair ties because they're easy to cut off when it's time to take her hair out. Please do not use rubber bands because rubber bands will eat your baby's edges. I tried it before in the past because I didn't know any better and it damaged my daughter's edges. So I only use these little hair ties from the Dollar Tree. And like I said, this process is repeated every week. This is the only method that I have used successfully to care for my daughter's hair. So if you have a daughter or if you are trying to grow your own hair, this method is going to help you do just that. Please show Nadia some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. Alright family, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show Nadia some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. If this video gets to 10,000 likes, I'm going to make Nadia's rice water wash day routine. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!